Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got a lot of requests for a tutorial on this look. So I sat down and I decided to do a quick little run through of how I created this look using the amazing Be Perfect and Stacey Marie Carnival palette. I know there has been so much hype about this palette and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. This look is really colorful and dramatic, but also is quite realistic to wear on a night out or to an event like I did. So if you wanna see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting off with concealer. This is the full cover concealer by Makeup Forever, and this is in the shade one. I'm using a paintbrush to carve out my brow. I'm not actually shading in my brow, I'm just carving it out first, just so I can get a shape there and a guideline. And I'm patting that down with a beauty blender just to mattify that so that my eyeshadows don't cling too much. So, like I said, we're going to use the Carnival palette by Be Perfect and Stacey Marie. And we're going to start off with the shade Shuffle, which is a nice dark yellow colour. And we're going to bring that into the crease and build it up into the brow bone. Then we're going to go in with the shade Keen, which is a more vibrant yellow. And we're going to bring that slightly higher than the previous colour. And then we're going to go back in with Shuffle just to add more depth to the crease. Now we're going to go in with the shade Guilty, which is a beautiful pink tone, and we're going to bring that into the corner of the lid and also up into the crease. This is going to kind of bring a nice orangey pinky tone to the eye, which I absolutely love. And I'm constantly going back in with that yellow just to add more vibrancy and make sure it's really, really blended and perfect. Now we're going to go in with the shade Chant, which is more of a purpley tone, and we're going to bring that into the corner of the lid and again up into the crease. I love merging purples into pinky tones. And then I'm adding a bit more strength with the shade Liquor just to create that darkness in the corner of the lid. Now going back in with my full cover concealer by Makeup Forever, I'm going to cut the crease. So I'm using a small lip brush to do this just because it has that curve which makes it a lot easier to get that nice sharp finish. Then blending the edges of the concealer out with a clean brush and going back in with liquor just to strengthen up the corner of the lid. Now going in with the shade Wifey and blending that into liquor as we approach the centre of the lid and then taking the shade Keen into the inside of the lid. So it gives that nice gradient of colour across the lid and gives that kind of sunset effect. Now I'm going in with Makeup Studio Liquid Liner and I'm just doing a nice little tight line across the lash line and bringing it out into a wing. Stunning! So now I'm going to go in with primer. This is the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I absolutely love this down my T-zone. Spraying a little bit of Fix Spray for moisture and then I'm going in with FLV4 by Makeup Atelier and I'm just applying that to the outskirts of my face just for that nice illuminating skin. Now I'm going in with Skin Base by Ella Masca. This is in the shade 12 and I'm using a flat brush actually just to apply this. I find when I have my eyes done, this is just a lot more neat and tidy and I don't make any mess. And then I'm going in with my Beauty Blender just to blend that out. And then back in with this baby, can you tell I love this product? And I'm just going in with that flat brush again just to avoid any mess and I'm going under my eyes just to conceal and brighten up. Now I'm going in with the Sosu Contour Sticks in the shade Warm and Dark. I always start with Warm because it is a lighter shade and it allows me to have a nice soft base for my darker contour to go on and blend a lot easier. So I'm going in with both here and mapping out the face and then I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going in with Makeup Studio Natural Silk Perfection as my satin powder. 
I've used this satin powder for like five years now. It is like without a doubt the best. And then I'm going in with my Be Bold Contour Kit, which is another favourite. And I'm going to add some warmth and bronziness. Now we're going in with the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just combing the hairs into place. My brow is pretty neat from the concealer underneath. So I really only need to go in and add a little bit of eyeshadow. I find this is so much quicker for me to do my brows than doing them at the start. Because I overthink my brows way too much. Now I'm smoking out underneath with the shade Keen and then I'm going to go in with the shade Wasted which is a nice vibrant purple and I'm going to bring that closer to the lash line just to smoke that out. Now I'm using the yellow from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm using a little flat paintbrush just to apply that onto my waterline. This is where you have to be a little bit careful because this is a cream. So I'm going to set this with the shade Keen from the Stacey Marie Be Perfect palette as well. And that will just secure it in place. Okay, so now let's add some more glowiness. We're going to go in with Be Perfect Golden Glow Body Shimmer. And we're just applying that to the tip of my cheekbones. And then lining my lip with Makeup Atelier Paris Lip Liner in the shade CO2. And then adding my lipstick, which is Ella Masca Naked, which is probably one of my favorite lipsticks ever. And then I'm going in with Peaches and Cream in the shade Bambi Lip Gloss, which is another favorite. And then just adding all my finishing touches, and that is me, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little run through of this makeup look. I got so many requests for a tutorial, so I thought I'd pop it up for you guys. If you want to see any more of my creations with the Be Perfect and Stacey Marie Carnival palette, head over to my Instagram and all my other social media accounts and don't forget to follow me to keep up to date with all my looks. So thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!